we have so many projects laying up ahead. And um, in the past, when you engage in consultations, I'm not saying we did. We did indirectly have talks with them. Um, some other people came to see me in my office when I went on a campaign trail in 2018, 2020, again, in elections that led this year. We spoke with them and we kept on saying to them, we will fix this place. Uh, we told them already we we're coming. Everybody knew that this is a, a time for a change and that the Embarcadero that we're discussing is a, is a place that we want to, to change. And I, I will send you the pictures that you should be able to share with you. All those pictures were taken this morning, um, to show you exactly what is it that we're up against. I think that is what really does justice that it, it's, uh, more than, uh, what it wants the consultation. It's basically, uh, I don't want to call it a no brainer, but when you look at the reality, you take a walk. And you say, hey, um, we don't need any consultation. This is a win-win for all. This is a win for the for the vendors and a win again for the neighborhood where we'll be uplifting the areas. Because the area that we are taking, uh, suggesting is a place that needs a lot of, uh, um, it, it needs a lot of uh, beautification, clean up and everything. So, um, yeah, I think that, uh, um, you know, if I would do it back again, certainly some more consultation, but I don't see the harm. I do not see the harm at this point in time. So um, I think that that is important right now. The design was a mistake when it showed it was a two storage. That was the initial start that we discussed that, but we made a change to just do one story. And I think this is where there was also quite a bit of, of confusion. Um, and, and I think that is where the, the controversy really started when it realized that we're talking about two, two stories. So um, we're doing some changes right now. And I think very soon by the 1st of October, we should be moving on with it very much.